Hey everybody, it's episode 8. Season 3 of Fargo. And Nikki is in a world of... The, the prison bus got flipped on its side. Yuri is coming. <sighs> to wreck her shit, mess her shit up. Only one person can save her. Nikki herself. Or two people can save her. Nikki herself. Or Wrench. Three people can save her. Nikki herself. Wrench. Fargo making a phone call. Or Gloria making changing direction and coming back. Or somehow the chief. Mr. Mr. I've got a million stories and I love things simple. Decided, you know what? I love the simple life, but I'm going to follow this prison bus. You know, because I got my spidey senses are tingling. He comes in saves the day. But you know who's not going to save Nikki? Arby's guy. It would be great if he did. He finally grows a backbone. Don't do it, Arby's guy. You're going to get yourself killed. Hmm? Psy could come in with the hum... V smash into the, the the bus again. Knock Yuri off balance. Come in and grab Nikki. Oh, she. I can't. I don't know if they're all chained up. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of an episode. Or maybe just maybe Yuri just killed her. I mean, if he's just gonna kill her, why kill her in the last episode? Don't wait till this episode, Yuri. What you doing? Taking your time for? Do it last time. You're not going to kill her. It's not going to happen. Nope. Maybe she can drop an air conditioning unit on him. The, bu the bus... The bus air conditioning unit. Have I thought about every way she can survive? The ghost of Ray gets... Save, saves her? What the shit is this? This is what they do to stop the bus. Well, but there's three of them. How does Nikki survive three of them? I'm glad we got to see it. <laughs> we saw it from the inside in the last episode, but it's good to see it from the outside too. Hey Nikki, do you know Jujutsu? Karate? Hey, buddy. Buddy, you know what's going on. You can see it. Oh, he's connected to Nikki. Uh, now or never. Oh, we got it. We got it. Just let him do his thing, Nikki. What do you guys think? Do you think you can take this guy? Into the forest. We just have to be quiet. And all the animals are coming. Uh, Santa Claus is here. Keep driving. Just keep driving. I wouldn't. Why are you stopping? <laughs> I'm glad they didn't stop. At least they have some sense. Look behind us, sir. Accelerate. What you do in that situation, you brake hard, you let the car behind wreck itself. Or you, you know, you try and drive him off the road or something. Don't just sit, just don't just take it. Where are we going? He can't, he can't, Is that... he can't hear you. He can't hear you? You speak his sign language? Yeah. How are we supposed, oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh shit, just go, just go. Oh, it's daytime. I like I like this pairing of Nikki and the uh, and Wrench. It makes for an interesting dynamic. Him not speaking and her <laughs> not being able to communicate. I'm glad he has a bigger role. I thought he'd just save her and maybe sacrifice himself on the on the bus. We need a plan. Is he gonna draw something? <laughs> uh yeah. 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh jeez! <laughs> That's hilarious. I think I got him. Oh, they're gonna not like what they find. Oh shit! They didn't get him. I thought they got him. Guys, guys, guys! Invincible. Took an arrow to the head. Oh, jeez. Somebody just in a tree? Oh, okay. What is it, target practice? Oh, yeah, 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 the axe. Would he run off on her if they... Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. They're sitting ducks. Oh. How is he still alive? Oh, shit, she got... Got her in the leg. Oh, good. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> he lost his head. Did we get somebody with the axe? Can I kill him? Can I kill him? He's invincible. But, uh... Almost, almost got him. Oh, it's bowling alley. I thought it was the cops. <laughs> I don't think it's time for bowling, dude. I, I know you like bowling and everything, but we're being stalked by a serial killer. Nah, wood frame won't hurt us. Hey, I'd like, um... Do you have candy goals? You want shoes? There's whiskey. And one for my friend. You, you got any cash? You could use whiskey for the pain. Hey! Hey, it's... Yeah, just this much. It's the guy from... Sherry. Glorious friend. Job sat on his dung heap. Covered in boils. I have no Easter idea. has been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> They're all long. This guy's a philosopher. Life is... Suffering. Amen. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I show you something? What? Hello. Oh. Hello, kitty. Uh, is anybody expecting that? Ray is the cat. What? Ray? His name. I call him Ray. He's like an angel. Are you familiar with Gilgul? No. It's Hebrew. It's how an old soul attaches itself to a new body. Ray? <laughs> Have you been to this place before? The... This this bowling alley? Nope. The bowling alley? Is that what you see? Who are you, dude? Yeah. I want whatever he's been having. He, he wasn't like this with Gloria. He was... Was he? It's the spot. We all end up here eventually. The afterlife? To be weighed and judged. I convinced them that he was on a better path now. And you? You need a ride? There's a car out front. You and your friend should take it. Am I... Is this real life? Ray. He's all, all so cute. Can't handle it. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. It's so chill, so cute. Thanks, dude, for the... What the shit was that? I like the boo. It was fascinating. I love it. You're not going to get that into the bowling alley. I don't think you get... Is the guy... Still here? I don't think he gets a cat. Somehow. Hey, hey, any words of w w wisdom? Yuri, I have a message for you from Helga Albrecht. Oh, Helga. And the Rabbi Nachman. Oh, shit. Dude, get out of there. Get the hell out of there. Oh, frick. What was the message? She didn't say anything. Meanwhile, on Christmas morning, Socks. I needed socks. So, where's my PlayStation? You having a good Christmas? I better oh, gifts no. will be a start. Ah, oh, jeez. That poor kid didn't get anything he wanted. Oh, that's the car that was run off the, the, the witnesses. If I could just get a look inside the bus, my suspect. Well, she's real memorable. A woman, you said. Just no women on no the bus. No females. 
Hey, back at Stamatos. Is he home? Sly. Shit, run I for it, Sly. Just having lunch, my dear. Don't go in. There's a bear in here. He's, uh, he's upstairs. All this bother with his brother. He's, uh, he's very upset. It's 50 50 chance Sly gets killed right now. Take a seat. Let's just come in here. Just Please. into this room. We call it the murder room. Hey, today you are five million dollars richer than you were yesterday. Thanks, Varga. Can I spend any of it? And she knows Kappa. Sure. I do, I'm not watching this again. We'll try some more. I think you'll find it smooths out nicely. Thank, thanks, Varga. Uh, it's always, I'm always grateful for these chats. Five million, you say? As soon as his weight is, I'll have him give you a ring-a-ding. Oh, thanks, Copa dude. City. I cope. I understood everything except that. Bye. Just, just never come back, Sai. I know you, you love Emmett and all, but it doesn't matter what Sai does. Even if he took the money and ran, Varga would still probably kill him. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy, you okay? Oh shit! What was in that? What was in that tea? Could we get a paramedic? Is he dead? Oh! Hey, he's not dead yet. Oh, has he got to wake up in a bowling alley? Oh, it's several years later. Just in a coma forever. Hey, Emmett, how are you doing? You're on your own now. No. How's he doing? Spoke to Mr. <laughs> no. Doctor last week. Oh, race car! What the hell is it doing here? Wasn't that your brother's car? I'm. Uh, I must have parked somewhere else. Where, what? This episode's been a trip, hasn't it? Oh, was it a picture of Ray? Oh, what's the stamp? Who's messing with him? Madeline! God damn it, Madeline! Maybe Mr. Varga. He does odd things sometimes. Mm. Maybe. I, I bet that's it, Maddie. See if you can find out what happened to the old pictures. Maybe, maybe Emma's doing this in his his guilt over Ray. He's maybe it's not somebody messing with him. Maybe it's just his his own conscience. How's how are things going in the world, Varga? You still controlling every everybody? Did did you really ever show up? Ray's car was parked in my spot. Yeah, explain that. You were at the hospital. No, we Varga wasn't. He didn't know about it. Emmett's losing it. He, he's completely lost the plot. And this guy, the the silent but deadly dancer. Oh, he, he's grown a moustache. Help! Dude, I don't think I don't think you're ready for Emmett's craziness right now. And you were here the whole time. Something's going on here. A hand reaching out from beyond the grave. Yeah. Settle. Take these. What, what are they? A mild sedative. They'll just settle you down a bit. Antipsychotic? Something that'll help you sign no. papers? It's just a boy. Who, he Ray? Used to follow me around oh. after school. Let's see. Sleep now. Can't they just fake his signature on a bunch of shit? Keep him drugged up. Oh, he didn't take him. Okay, Chief. You can't call me that anymore. I'm a deputy now, same as you. Deputy? She went from Chief to Deputy? To Arby's guy level? Come on. Hey, Who's is me outgoing for the it, morning? It's Emmett. My name's Emmett Stussy. I want to confess. Oh, he's got to confess to everything. everybody did did you watch that episode did did you see did you... what happened to that one so wrench Nikki saved each other that's that's the way it should have happened In the prison bus at the start of the episode they had a it was really interesting actually the first half of this episode 
and then it kicked into or it went to a different plane of existence for the rest um her and wrench go through the the forests at night in the day trying to stay one step ahead of their attackers some great scenes lots of blood freaking arrows in the knee and the, the head and the axes being thrown at ears it had it all and finally you know they they, they got to a bowling alley but it was like <laughs> how to describe the bowling alley it was just a normal bowling alley there was a guy cleaning the lanes you know making sure everything is just you got to keep those lanes clean so that you, the ball will roll at the right you, you know what I'm saying keep it all smooth and Nikki met the guy from glorious episode Right, he's the same guy, right? I'm just not just imagining that. And he was not a normal person. He was like some sort of angel, some sort of purgatory man who knew who she was, knew about Ray, knew Yuri, knew all about Yuri's past. I feel like going back and watching Gloria's episode now to see the sort of things he was saying to her because it was like he was Mr. Profound, you know? He knew about Wrench. He's like, oh, he's on a better path. He sure is. He's doing well. He's doing well. So I think I spent all of that scene just like my eyes were wide open. My mouth was agape, and I was just like, I was as dumbfounded as, as Nikki in that scene. Oh, the kitten was so cute. And they, they got a, a nice little green car. Free car. To go wherever they wanted to. We don't know what happened after that. We don't know where they went. Then we go to the other part of the episode, and poor Sai... He just needed to get out of there. He just needed to get away, you know? Forget about the five million. Just just get away from Varga somehow. Somehow. But he, dr he drank the magic drink and... He's... Semi-permanently in a coma? I thought more time had passed than had passed. I think only a few weeks had passed. Because Gloria and... The other girl were still on the case, and Emmett was... What's going on with Emmett? Emmett is overcome with guilt and remorse, and... His brain has shattered into a million pieces, and the person messing with him is not. In this case, Varga. Varga would have the power to do all of this, have the car turn up, change the pictures in the office. But it's much more likely, given the state we find... Um, Emmedin, and the fact that he has no friends anymore, his brother's dead, and he's cooped up, you know, he's, he's lost it, he's doing it to himself probably. I can't think of a, I can't think, if it's not Varga, I can't think of who else it would be, you know, that would have the power to do all of that. Like he was blaming Nikki, but you know, don't you don't go after Emma, Emmett? You know, you she wouldn't even if she wanted revenge, she'd be targeting Varga. Um, and he's turned himself in. Great, great cliffhanger. Makes you want to watch the next episode. I sure do. And Glory is right there. She sort of accepted her role in this episode as deputy. She's settling back into a routine. But now, now Emmett's back. Emmett's back. The case can move forward. He's about to say uh, some load of shit. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see what he says next time. 
Glorious Kid did not have a happy Christmas. Um, but what can you do, you know? He lost his grandfather. Got some socks. But at least he doesn't know Varga. So there's plus. There's a plus side to it all. Yuri is missing still. He did not come back. Maybe the bowling alley got him? And the... He was... The souls of all the people he'd killed consumed him? Or not. I told you that nothing could... He was like physically immortal. You know, he could survive all these things, but... Maybe. Maybe he got got spiritually. And the other guy? The other henchman guy? The Asian one? He's just a dancer. He just wants to dance. He wasn't ready for Emmett's crazy. <laughs> so, where do we go from here? I don't know. Will we find out what happened to Nikki or is, is she just done? She just Did she just go to Canada? Like Varga was saying. He doesn't know where she went. He doesn't know where Yuri went. He doesn't know what the hell's happening to Emmett. He's losing a bit of control in this episode. And I think... I think uh, maybe he shouldn't have gotten rid of Sai when he did. You know? Sai was the, the tether that was holding Emmett sane. Keeping him tied to the world. His friend. You, you've taken that from him. Yeah, I just want to get into the next one. So, thank you. The next one is called Aporia. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, I'll see you back here for that one.